Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue shaded square ABCD along with this uh, right triangle uh, ADE as you can see in this given diagram. And as a result, uh, this uh, blue shaded square has been uh, divided into two parts. Uh, this uh, right triangle uh, ABF and this uh, trapezoid uh, ADCF and moreover uh, the area of this part is uh, uppercase uh, a centimeter square whereas the area of this uh, part uh, is five times a centimeter square and furthermore uh, this segment uh, EF length is uh, two centimeter and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded square ABCD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. Let's focus uh, once again on this uh, green shaded square ABCD. I'm going to label uh, its uh, side length uh, as uh, X. Then this side length is going to be X. Uh, x and x across the board and now since we are interested in calculating the area of this blue shaded square and now let's recall the area of a square formula area is always equal to s square where s represents the side length of the square and in our case the side length of this square is x so therefore the blue square area is going to be simply x square and furthermore, we can see the total area of this uh, blue shaded square is going to be a centimeter square plus uh, five times a centimeter square. So therefore, uh, the blue square area is going to be six uh, times uh, a centimeter square. And now we are going to compare uh, these two equations. And we can see both of these equations uh, represent the area of the very same uh, blue square so therefore we are going to equate uh, these uh, right hand sides so therefore we can write uh, 6 uh, times uh, a equals to x uh, square and now i'm going to label the first one uh, as our equation number one and this uh, our equation number two and in this uh, next step i'm going to label uh, this segment uh, AF length uh, as uh, Y then this uh, whole uh, AE length uh, is going to be Y plus 2 so we can write uh, Y plus 2 and furthermore uh, this angle is going to be a 90 degrees angle and likewise this is going to be a 90 degrees uh, angle as well since we are dealing with this uh, blue square and now we are going to focus on this big right triangle uh, a D E and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, angle uh, F A B and this angle C E F are going to be congruent angles since they are our uh, alternate angles if I call this angle uh, theta then this angle has got to be theta as well and now we are going to focus on this big right triangle A D E and now let's recall the trigonometric ratio sine of theta is always equal to opposite side divided by the hypotenuse so therefore for this uh, right triangle ade for uh, this angle uh, theta our opposite side is uh, x and our hypotenuse is y plus 2 so therefore our sine of uh, angle theta is going to be equal to x uh, divided by y plus uh, 2 and now we are going to focus on this smaller right triangle abf and now let's recall another trigonometric ratio cosine of theta equals to adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse so therefore for this uh, triangle and for this angle theta our adjacent side is uh, x and our hypotenuse is y so therefore our uh, cosine of theta is going to be equal to x divided by y so therefore our sine of theta turns out to be equal to x divided by y plus 2 
and cosine of theta is x divided by y. And now let's recall this uh, famous uh, trigonometric identity. Sine square of theta plus cosine of square theta is always equal to 1. And here we got our sine theta and this is our cosine of theta. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So sine square theta, we are going to replace that one. So we can write uh, x square divided by y plus uh, 2 whole square plus likewise for cosine square theta our cosine theta is x divided by y so therefore the square is going to be x square divided by y square equals to 1 and now I'm going to label this one as our equation number 3 and now we are going to focus once again on this uh, right triangle uh, ABF we know its area has been given to us as a uppercase a centimeter square and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area of the triangle is always equal to a half times the side length a times b times sine of angle c as you can see in this given triangle and here we got side a this is our side b and c is the angle between them and in our case, uh, our sides are x and y for this triangle and angle theta is in between. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. We know the area of this triangle is uh, uppercase A equals to a half uh, times uh, x times y times sine of uh, angle uh, theta. And we know our sine of theta equals to x divided by y plus 2. So we are going to replace this sine of theta with the x divided by y plus 2 over here. So therefore we can write uppercase A equals to a half times x times y times x divided by y plus 2. So let's simplify. So uppercase A is going to be simply a half times x square times y divided by y plus 2. And I'm going to label this one as our equation number 4. And now let's focus on this equation number 2. 6a equals to x square. And here I have copied down this equation 2. And we know our uppercase uh, a equals to 1 divided by 2 times uh, x square times y divided by y plus 2. I am going to replace uh, a with that uh, value over here. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So 6 uh, times our uppercase a value is 1 divided by 2 times uh, x square y divided by y plus 2 is going to be equal to x square on the right hand side and here we can see this x square and x square they are gone and likewise uh, 6 times uh, 1 divided by 2 is going to give us simply 3 so therefore we are ended up with uh, 3 times uh, y divided by y plus uh, 2 is going to be equal to 1 on the right hand side and I'm going to tweak 1 1 could be written as 1 divided by 1 as you can see in this next step and now we are going to cross multiply so therefore we are ended up with the 3 times y equals to y plus 2 and now we are going to subtract y from both sides this is gone so therefore we are ended up with uh, on the left hand side 2y equal to 2 on the right hand side as well and now we are going to divide both sides by 2 to solve for y this 2 and 2 is gone so therefore our y value simply turns out to be equal to 1 so thus our y value turns out to be 1 and now we are going to focus on this uh, equation 3 and here I have copied down equation 3 and now I am going to substitute y equals to 1 value over here and over here as well at the denominators so let's go ahead and uh, substitute so x square divided by at the denominator y value is 1 so this is going to become 1 plus 2 whole square plus likewise x square divided by y value is 1 whole square equals to 1 
and here at the denominator we can see 1 plus 2 is 3 3 square is going to be simply 9 and this 1 square is simply 1 and now we have to equal this uh, x squared divided by 1 could be written as 9x squared divided by 9 so therefore we ended up with the uh, x squared plus uh, 9 x squared divided by 9 equals to 1 that means we got uh, 10 uh, x squared divided by 9 equals to 1 and now I'm going to multiply both sides by 9 divided by 10 on the left hand side and 9 divided by 10 on the right hand side as well so therefore we can see these reciprocals undo each other so therefore our x square value simply turns out to be 9 divided by 10 and 9 divided by 10 is same as 0 0.9 so therefore our uh, x square value simply turns out to be 0 0.9 and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue square and now let's focus on this equation one blue square area equals to x square and here i have copied down equation one and we know blue square area equals to x square and we already figured out uh, x square value as 0 0.9 we are going to substitute over here so the blue square area is going to be simply 0 0.9 centimeter square the area of the blue square so thus the area of the blue square turns out to be 0 0.9 centimeter square and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye